NBC7's nightly check-in is sponsored by Bill Howe Plumbing, Heating, and Air, Flood, and Restoration. We know how. The county is working on cracking down on violators of the public health order. And if you have noticed in recent weeks, thousands of violators have been connected to churches and worship gatherings like that one. Thanks very much for joining us for the nightly check in. I'm Mark Mullen. It is important to note our reporting isn't meant to be anti church or anti religion, but how churches are choosing to hold services under guidelines set by the state and county. No one was given the handbook on how to lead during a pandemic. So we're all trying to do what we feel like is not only best for our people, but what we feel like God's calling us to do. Pastor Chad Richards is with Canyon Springs Church in Scripps Ranch. The church has been holding outdoor services and will do so again this Sunday at this community park. Everyone must wear a mask and stay socially distanced. That is a far cry from what we saw in recent weeks of several religious gatherings, including this one with people defiantly disregarding public health orders. NBC7 has learned Awaken was one of three churches sent a strongly worded letter signed by public health officer Dr. Wilma Wooten back at Canyon Springs, a pastor trying to follow the rules while making no judgment against those who take a different approach. It is a tough kind of gray area to walk right now, uh, but I feel like we're figuring out how to do it, not only in a responsible way, but a way that is honoring to not only what we feel like God's calling us to do, but also to our people. And keep those notices sent to three churches by the county come with a warning. Failure to comply with public health orders can result in a misdemeanor citation and a $1,000 fine. Uncertainty for rent relief in San Diego. The city council today voted to revisit extending its eviction moratorium past September, but is leaning towards giving more time for tenants to repay their leases. The original proposal pushed to extend a moratorium on evictions through March of 2021. That plan failed by a 63 vote which basically means the current September expiration date still stands. But an amendment proposed by council member Jennifer Campbell is offering some relief to renters. It would extend the deadline to repay unpaid rent charges until this December. The council approved that item in a five to four vote, but it still requires a second vote and could be vulnerable to a mayoral veto. Council member Georgette Gomez says the eviction conversation will be revisited closer to its expiration this fall. As uncomfortable as this conversation is, um, I do foresee a September conversation hopefully reflected on what has occurred both at the state and at the federal government. And in a, a unique move, uh, the original eviction moratorium was also backed by the San Diego Unified School Board. That's because as the school year begins in a matter of weeks, homes will become classrooms again. The school board arguing that distance learning will become tougher if housing for students and their families is put at risk. The World Health Organization says the COVID-19 pandemic is quote one big wave, not a seasonal virus like influenza. WHO spokesperson Margaret Harris says there is a misconception that summer is not a problem. She says the virus likes all weathers and jumps from person to person when in close contact. The president has been quoted saying the virus would disappear with warmer temperatures. Health officials say that is simply not true. Well, it's only July, but retailers are already laying out plans for a holiday shopping season during the pandemic. Already retail giants Target and Walmart announced they will not be open Thanksgiving like they have every year for the past decade. Luckily, some local experts say you won't have to wait in a long line to score a deal. Retailers are still expected to offer Black Friday deals. The stores will simply space their deals out and offer them as early as Halloween. So consumers will have bite-sized chunks and events, so it's not making sure that people go in in mass, but in little pockets of people. And there's always online. Experts say even though Amazon is still wildly popular, shoppers still tend to buy more when they see it in stores. We'll see what happens this year. A truce between a major Hollywood studio and the country's largest movie theater chain to bring new movies into your living room. Universal Pictures and AMC theaters announcing an agreement for new films to head straight into your TV after just three weekends in cinema. After 17 days, Universal has the option to shift movies from theaters to premium video on demand services. Movies traditionally spend 90 days in theaters before moving to video on demand or streaming services. The companies did not announce when the deal will start. Universal Pictures is part of NBC Universal, the parent company of NBC News and our television station. OK, continuing our streak of sunshine, but is a change in store. Dagmar with your first alert forecast coming up.
NBC7's Nightly Check-In is sponsored by Bill Howe Plumbing, Heating, and Air, Flood, and Restoration. Call 1-800-BILL-HOWE. howe We know how. Wet floor, soggy mess? Call Bill Howe Plumbing. We're the slab leak experts. Our flood service division can repair any water damage and restore your home. For the great service and pricing you have come to expect, you know who to call. Because we know how. We know how. For your Wednesday, you are continuing to see a warm-up in all four forecast zones. Now, sometimes that ends up when the inland valleys, mountains, and deserts heat up, pulling a little bit of some of that low-clad marine layer on shore and kind of holding those clouds in place. So, very similar to today, you may end up seeing partly cloudy skies along the beaches, mid-70s. Inland valleys, now mid to upper 80s, a few clouds in the morning, then mostly sunny. Mountains, you're looking at the low 90s. Then you'll see the deserts at the 110 to 114 and 115 mark. So, we will continue to see this warm up as we head into Thursday where an excessive heat warning goes into effect Thursday morning for the deserts. After five years and $25 million, Portside Pier is finally open at the Embarcadero. The new restaurant complex is located next to the Star of India. The timing isn't exactly ideal in the middle of a pandemic, but thankfully there is plenty of outdoor seating. The new waterfront complex features brigantine seafood and oyster bar Miguel's Cochina catch grill and taps along with portside coffee and gelato. Having a facility like this with so much public access where people can just come and literally over the water, enjoy the beautiful views. It's a really great draw to bring people down to the waterfront. There's a public dock available so that people can dock their boats and hop off, come upstairs and enjoy a drink or a bite. It's going to do it for a nightly check and thanks for watching. I'm Mark Mullen. Have a good night.